Hi, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Danny from The Glittered Rose. I thought today we might look at this super cheap set of watercolour paints from Amazon. I think I paid all of $25, maybe even a little less than that, for 48 half pan sets. So I thought we might unbox it together and take a look. Um, just straight out of the pack, you get some sheets of 300 GSM watercolour paper uh, along with um, sort of a swatch card, um, a card that you can swatch the actual paints. You also get a watercolour brush, a paint brush and a silver pen. So I'm pretty, pretty impressed with everything that you get plus some pamphlets about different items that they sell. For the people who have been around for a while, you know that I like a bargain. So I knew I wanted more watercolours. I currently have some Ulta New watercolours, which I think are just okay. I paid about $70 or $80 for 24 colours. Um, but I wanted something with more variation in colours. So I decided to look on Amazon and I found this set. It has... Over 10,000 reviews and four and a half stars. So, guys, I'm going to be looking at this through the eyes of a card maker. Multimedia, I'm not just a watercolorist, I do lots of mediums, so I don't need the best, don't need the best of everything. They're only cards. But I've swatched all the colors out and look at them. Aren't they beautiful? There's a great amount of different colours there. I'm really happy with my purchase I've, from what I can tell so far. I think they look really lovely. So if you're interested to see how they work when I'm stamping, stick around. I'm going to make a card and we'll test them out together. So I've just stamped and embossed um, my image. I've used... Pink Fresh's Floral Trio, and I stamped that in Ulta New um, Antique Gold, and then I embossed it with Wow Clear. I've wet the back and the front of my image along with the paints, and I'm just going to pick up some paint and pop it on. Like I said, I'm not a colorist. Um... This is just so that I can have a different colouring medium in my stash without having to spend a fortune. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who has commented, liked and subscribed to my channel. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I'm 2 off 200. <laughs> so please consider subscribing, liking and commenting. It really does help my brand new channel. So straight off the bat, I love these. They're really pigmented, they're smooth, they really water down for that um, painterly effect and I'm really happy. I think so far they look great. I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this painting because you don't need to sit here and watch the whole thing but I think if you can just see how I put them down quickly that might be nice. So I'll just speed up the next section of this video.
Okay, so I've decided I need a black background. So I'm just filling in the white space with some black watercolour. The fantastic thing about um, heat embossing is that it gives you the walls. So you don't need to worry too much about muddying up your coloured areas. I'm going to be die cutting it out, so I'm not worrying too much about everything being perfect. I just want that dark, dark space around the flowers. I'm going to use Pink Fresh's nested circles to die cut this image out. And then I'm also going to die cut out um, another circle, but first I'm going to hot foil a circle on some black cardstock. The great thing about these nested circles from Pink Fresh is that they've got stamps to go with the circles along with die cuts and hot foil plates. So it's a great set. So I've got my hot foiled circle and I really wanted that sort of aged almost tarnished look with the black coming through the gold. So I'm just using some sticky tape to pick up some of that foil to give it that sort of mottled mottled look. And I think it's working. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but it just takes off some of that gold foil. Okay, so it's time for the sentiment now, and I'm inking up a stamp from Pink Fresh Geo's Beyond Happy stamp set. And I'm inking it in the same antique gold ink pad from Altenew. And I'm going to emboss it using the Wow Clear Embossing Powder. You don't need to see me do this, so I'll um, do this off camera. I ended up putting the card together off camera. I think sometimes it's a bit boring sitting and watching somebody glue all the elements together. So I die cut four pieces of cardstock out for the sentiment and layered that up together. And then I die cut out a circle for the flowers out of pop-up foam just so that it has a little bit of dimension. I'm just popping down some lovely enamel dots from Altenew now. I absolutely adore my Artistro watercolour paints. I highly recommend them, especially if you're a card maker. If you end up purchasing a set, I would love to know. And I'd also like to know what you think of them. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel. Thanks again. Till next time. Bye.